find the circumradius if the three sides are given. So we have been given a triangle ABC and let us say that we know the values of the sides of the triangle. We have to find out the value of the circumradius. Now the concept we are going to use to find out the circumradius is we know that if you know the three sides of a triangle we can use Heron's formula to calculate the area of the triangle. We also know area of triangle is also half into base into height. So suppose let us say AB is small c and BC is small a and AC equals to small b then area of the triangle is given by half into base into height which is nothing but half into a into ad. Let us say ad equals to h. Then area of the triangle will be equals to half into a into h. Now what we need to calculate is circumradius that means we know OA is circumradius. Let us extend AO to another point on the circle so that we can get the diameter and the circle is divided into two equal parts. So let us extend AO. What is our area of triangle according to us? Half into base A into height H. Now let us extend AO to another point so that we have the diameter there and the circle is divided into two semicircles. Then let that point where it is meeting the circle be point E then join C to E. We have angle AC 90 degrees because we have angle in a semicircle is right angle. Now we have two triangles here where we have 90 degrees. Do we have another angle which is equal so that we can say they are similar to each other? So we know that angle ACE is equals to 90 degrees. Now let us look from arc AC. Angle subtended by arc AC at point B is equal to angle subtended by arc AC at E because we have angles in the same segment are equal. Angle AC arc subtended by AC at B equals to arc subtended by AC at E. Angle ABE equals to angle angle ABD is equals to angle AEC. We can write down that angle ABD is equal to angle AEC because we have angles in the same segment are equal. We also know that angle ADB and angle AC are 90 degrees because one AD is an altitude so 90 degrees and uh, angle ACE angle in a semicircle is right angle. Now we can clearly see that these two triangles are similar to each other because we have a, a similarity criteria. Now what is our approach? The first thing is area of a triangle by Heron's formula we can calculate. That is also equals to half into base into height. Now this height we want to write in terms of circumradius so that we can equate the Heron's formula whatever the area we got to this and calculate the value of capital R circumradius. Since we know these two triangles are similar to each other by AA similarity criteria, we can go ahead and write down that corresponding sides are proportional. So we can say that AD divided by AC will be equals to DV, DB divided by CE and that will be equal to AB divided by AE. Triangle ADB similar to triangle ACE by AA similarity criteria. So let us write down AD by AC equals to DB by CE equals to AB by AE. So now we want to change that H into 
some value with respect to r so that we can get circum radius that's the idea that's why we are using these two similar triangles so let us see now what happens ad is h and ac is small b we know that and capital ab ab is small c and ae is two times of radius diameter that is 2 into capital r capital r is our circum radius now from this we can see that h equals to bc by 2r this is what we are waiting for because we want to change that h into something with respect to the sides and the circum radius so we can go ahead now and say that but we know area of triangle abc is a half into a into h so can we go ahead and write down in place of h bc by 2r we get area of triangle abc equals to a into b into c divided by 4 into capital r so if we want to find out the circum radius of a triangle then multiply all the sides a into b into c divided by 4 times the area of the triangle which we can easily find out by Heron's formula so go ahead and write down therefore triangle circum radius equals to abc divided by 4 times of area of triangle where area of triangle can be obtained by Heron's formula Heron's formula is given by area of triangle is square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c where s is semi perimeter and that is given by half of a plus b plus c or a plus b plus c divided by 2. Now let us do one example to understand this. Let us say that we have a triangle, standard triangle with sides as 13, 14, 15. Whenever you do Heron's formula, this is the triangle which we generally use. And we know the area of that easily we can calculate comes as an integer value so we can calculate circum radius for this particular triangle according to our logic first we have to calculate what is the area by Heron's formula so let's find out what is semi perimeter here first semi perimeter is given by a plus b plus c divided by 2 that is 13 plus 14 plus 15 divided by 2 27 plus 15 42 by 2 that is 21 let's go and substitute the values area equals to 21 into 21 minus 13 8 into 21 minus 14 7 into 21 minus 15 6 now you can just multiply the big numbers or you can factorize them in such a way that the same number is repeating two times then it will be easy for us so let's write down 21 as 7 into 3 and 8 as 2 into 4 then we can see that we can get 1 7 1 6 and 1 2 out so the area is 84 square units Therefore, circum radius equals to 13 into 14 into 15 divided by 4 into 84. 14 will go 6 times. 3 will go 2 times and 3 will go 5 times. So, we are left out with 65 divided by 8. If the units are centimeters, then the circum radius is also 65 by 8 centimeters. So in this session, we learned how to find out the circum radius if the three sides of a triangle are given. Let us say if you have a triangle of sides A, B, C, then the circum radius is given by product of the sides A into B into C divided by 4 times the area of the triangle. We can easily calculate the area of the triangle by using Heron's formula which says that area of triangle is given by square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c where s is semi perimeter and given by a plus b plus c divided by 2. So we have done one example also to understand how this formula works. So please share with your friends if you like the content and also subscribe to the channel thanks for your time and support i'll catch you once again with another interesting problem till then keep smiling and sharing bye for now